Welcome to this episode of Monday Morning Joe. My name is Dr. Joseph McHale. I'm a professor at the Translational Genomics Research Institute in Phoenix, Arizona. Monday Morning Joe is a quick-hitting, coffee-talk-style six-episode series on the latest and greatest in multiple myeloma. Please remember to subscribe to the Exchange CME YouTube channel, and please make sure your notifications are turned on so you don't miss a single episode. Today, we're going to discuss one of my favorite topics, and I'm going to give it the title of Down With Dex. In fact, I want to create a hashtag of Down With Dex. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm talking about the infamous drug dexamethasone. So dexamethasone is the kind of drug that we love and we hate. And it's very fascinating because <clears throat> there has been recent research in understanding this drug better and the best way to employ it in multiple myeloma. And I want to share that with you over the next few minutes. So when we think about dexamethasone as a steroid, what does it do? So steroids, think of them as I describe this to patients, they're like booster rockets on the shuttle. Um, they're really helpful uh, for those first few cycles, but eventually we need to start to let them drop down. <clears throat> Hence the name down with dex. They are very important often, even when we're giving patients immune therapies to reduce the risk of infusion reactions or cytokine release syndrome. But again, that's not something we need to consistently do. So I'm hoping today to help you understand the science behind it, but more importantly, pragmatically, how do I turn down the dexamethasone volume in a patient? And why do we want to turn it down? We want to turn it down because of the negative aspects of ongoing dexamethasone therapy. It is amazing how it affects our patients, as we all know. It affects them psychologically because it can, although they like the initial high, they can get a significant low later and it can really affect their mood. We know that it can uh, affect blood sugar. It can affect blood pressure. It affects the skin. It can enhance bruising. It can lead to bone complications. Uh, there's a, it can lead to cataracts. There's a whole series of things that we know when patients are on chronic steroids that can really be a problem. The Sentinel study many years ago that was done was done looking at high-dose dex versus low-dose dex. Now, for many people, they still think 40 milligrams of dexamethasone a week is high-dose, and in many ways it is. But remember, we used to give even higher. We used to give 12 out of 28 days, we would give 40 milligrams of dexamethasone. And what we learned in that study was that using less dexamethasone with only once a week kept up the response rates with whatever combination it was used with, in that case with lenalidomide, but also significantly reduced the toxicities. There were patients that had cardiac events because of the high-dose dexamethasone. So I'm going to suggest as you treat your patient, there are several things to consider. First of all, what is the starting dose of dexamethasone you're going to use? In general, when we think someone is eligible for a stem cell transplant, so they're in that 70-ish range or less, and I don't want to be ageist because it's not just based on age, we might think of starting them at 40 milligrams once a week. If someone is not eligible for transplant and typically older than that, then the starting dose may only be 20. So that starting dose becomes important. And I'm going to suggest that the first two months are perhaps the most important months, that after those first two months, we really can start to taper it down. There was a recent French study presented at the um, American Society of Hematology meeting looking at a strategy of literally dose reducing the dex after two months and looking to taper it off. So your starting dose is important, but plan to give that starting dose perhaps only for the first two or three months and then begin to dial down. So if I have someone who's starting at 40, then I dial down to 20 then to 12, then to 8, then to 4, then off. Or if I'm starting at 20, I may go down to 12, 8, 4, and off. Just after one month of each uh, of that dosing schedule, your patients will be happier. They'll experience less side effects, but you'll still be able to maintain the efficacy of using the regimen that, that you will use. So join me in the Down With Dex movement. I've joked about changing the name of my clinic to the Dexamethasone Reduction Service because I suggest this so often. But I really do think it's important both for efficacy and safety in our patients. Well, thank you for joining me today. As discussed earlier, please check back for new episodes on the Exchange CME YouTube page. And clinicians can also go to the exchangecme.com website for access to free CME in multiple areas. 
Well, thanks again for joining me and be sure to join me for the next episode of Monday Morning Joe.